Well, hey folks, welcome back to the Jetty Wolf Ranchero Deluxe. It's soup day again. This time, it's all vegetable with cut up smoked sausage. This is what I eat all week long. I make another soup so I'm just gonna let this simmer but that's not what I want to tell you about let's go outside ooh here we go it's nice and bright let's discuss something I did not get to do the boat show video why the Jacksonville, Florida Winter Boat Show. I did not get to do it. I was going to go there with a good customer of mine, Aaron. You've all met Aaron if, you're, if you've watched these videos numerous times. He is an official trout snob. I'm proud of that. But we were going to go because he doesn't really know much about boats and we were going to go to the boat show and we were going to do question and answer boat critique it was raining and it was cold yes half the boat show was indoors half of it was outdoors and you know the boys worked hard all week so i said let's go do it in april when they have the in the water boat show and the weather's a little nicer which leads me up to what I'm going to tell you about today. This is my saltwater wash down pump. You know, I know, I know a lot of you, you know, you probably think having all the Gigi gadgets really is so great, but I'm sort of here to tell you. Gigi gadgets on a boat ain't that great. I'm kind of sitting on the fence here if I'm going to reinstall this pump because how much do I really use the salt water wash down? These things are like, a, I don't know, anywhere from $150 to $180 probably. What is it? It's another electrical thing that goes wrong. Mine was leaking. I put a mat underneath this in the back of the boat where its little compartment is. And that mat was full of water. The whole compartment was full of water. Because what feeds this is, let me show you. And this could be the same on your boat or that fancy boat you're looking at at the boat show. I mean, I had one customer, or not one customer, one subscriber say to me, Dave, every time I watch your videos, I have to remember that you do this for a living, that your mindset is a bit different. And I replied to him, yeah, you got that straight. Simplicity never, ever goes out of style. I'm getting off on a tangent here. Let me move my boarding ladder here. And here's my swing up ladder. Okay, my water <clears throat> comes into that pump on that scoop right there. And you can see, boy, is it dirty under there. St. John's River is one dirty place. It's welded to the boat. Many times on your boat, you'll have a through hole one in the stern and it is a hole through the bottom of your boat. So here we go, mine's on this plate. It comes up on a pipe comes up through this is what I call the the this is actually right here is the true transom this okay comes up here and then goes in through what I kind of call the false transom right here okay and goes into this compartment let's get up in there and let me show you where this ends up going okay 
And there is a moral to this entire story, and you may have figured that moral out already. I'm in and out of my boat, I don't know, 10 times a day. I'm, a, especially since it's nice. I mean, look at the sunshine. They said tomorrow it's damn near going to be 75, 80 degrees or something. I don't know. But let me tell you something. I was out yesterday. Today is the 4th. Uh, yesterday was the third. You couldn't get nastier. Well, I guess you could. You could have added 25, 30 knots of wind on top of it. Rain and we didn't catch crap. I do not know what's going on. I mean, a couple trout, a whiting, and a sea bass. It was raining. It was overcast. It was foggy. But welcome to Jacksonville, Florida right now. This is the reason why we live here. Okay, the light switch is on. There we go. Spotlight's overhead. Maybe that's a little better. We'll see how good a GoPro GoPro Hero 4 is in low light conditions. The story of my life. Everything that a certain person, and he knows who he is, gets mad at. Every time he watches a video. But my world is not always lit up perfectly okay let me hit this light all right here is the compartment in which the pump sits all right this is all dead air in here rigging tube dead air filters chase Everything's getting wet back in here. This is a two-hand operation because you got to pull these two levers. Okay, so that's where the pump sat right here. All right, see the pump sat right here. One side goes up in there, and then right here is where that pipe comes in. And the pump is in line then this hose goes back there which ends up right here let me get some light on it which goes to that hose bib which in turn is the, the hose for the salt water wash down what i'd like to do is get rid of that whole shooting match and be able to throw stuff up in there that's my problem and see how I started to really notice a lot of water in here I had the pump sitting on this mat god dang jets going over high overhead and look at all the water I mean that's just a little bit of it because as I'm up and running I don't even have to have the pump on and it is pressurizing the entire pump and this will get all salty and nasty in here and it shouldn't. But as I'm running down the St. John's River, that pump is being pressurized by the scoop on the bottom of the boat. And water's in it and being pressurized and it's saying they're leaking. How the heck do I know? I don't know what it's doing because I'm driving. Oh, now there was jets, now here comes helicopters. I don't know if you can hear them. What is today? Today's not even Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday is helicopter day around here. Yep, here they come. They will shake the windows of my house sometimes. Listen. Hey, Aaron is the guy who fixed these things. My customer, Aaron. My buddy, he fixes those things. And I tell him, why the heck do they have to fly over land? You know, fly out in the middle of the ocean. The fish don't complain and the fish don't care. Plus, if there's a stranded boater out there, they might see them. And they can actually be doing us all a favor. What are they doing? You know, they, see a strand they can't see a stranded car. That would be a doing a double duty flying out over the ocean 
They might see a SOS or, you know, somebody waving, hey, I'm sinking, you know, whatever. All right, well, this has been getting day after day after day. I've been going, damn, it's getting wet in here. So what I just did is I had the pump in line. I went down the bed. You know, it's really tough to do all this stuff when you're by yourself. You always need a helper. Um, yeah, like I got, uh, there's a helper available at 1 o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday. So um, I got under there with the hose, turned the, turned the pump on, and shoved the hose up in the bottom of that pickup. And I saw water while the, while the pump was even on creating pressure at the end of the hose, I saw it dripping. Now that wasn't the maximum pressure that it could be. Imagine the pressure on that pickup as you're smoking it down the St. John's, you know. And over time, all day long, this mat, that mat, it's only so deep would slosh around and all of a sudden I open this up at the end of the day and every day there's water in it. I don't want water in here. I mean, after 12, let's see, 12, October 18th, 2018 was 12 years of ownership. And here I am, I'm still sitting around tweaking things. But the whole I thing about it is, is all this stuff, and I'm, I'm sure I'm not telling you nothing you don't know. All this electrical, electronic, mechanical, whatever it is, when it's on your boat, it wears out, it causes trouble. I'm thinking about changing this and getting rid of that pump for a little while. You know what really works is a saltwater wash down and it never breaks. That right there. The old rubber bucket. Remember that video? The rubber bucket. Stick it in a freezer and it makes, I don't know, five, six, seven pound ice blocks. I mean, I'm only pulling salt water out of the river anyhow. You know, so I just might go back to this. I don't know. You know, I constantly am whittling out problems. That's just one of those things. I'm thinking about changing this out. So that's it. That's it. I just wanted to kind of, I don't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to show you, you know, I actually subscribe to a guy who's a Canadian knife maker guy. Excellent channel. I mean, the guy's got it going on. Um, and the name of his channel is The Simple Life. Simple Life. That kind of, that's kind of my motto too. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep things from breaking and causing you headaches. But then, I mean, it's totally different from maybe you. You know, you want, you got, or you want, you have every single Gigi gadget in the world on your boat. That's all fine, that's fine and dandy. But it's one of those things that you're always fixing after it gets a little old, you know? You're fixing it. And that is, I guess, the moral. So I think I'm gonna keep the pump out for right now. All right, thanks for watching. And um, this is Captain Dave Sport Fishing. And uh, my channel's all about day to day trials tribulations fishing knives tackle so uh we discuss it all pretty much here um aluminum boats the jetty wolf so all right i'll talk to you later here's what i love about little boat projects let's see one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tools.